Hello, my friends. Welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. And we are on uh, July 25th today. And uh, I can't even remember what, how many days we've been on the road. But uh, we started this morning, got up in uh, our campsite outside of um, Kamloops, British Columbia. And we got up pretty early, got started, had some coffee, hit the road. Um, made it into cam loops and uh, Ken stopped and got himself a new bag at Walmart. We took a little bit of time there. Uh, I shot a little video showing how his bike was set up and then I shot another video of how he's got it set up now. So I'll include those here in the middle. Or at the end, I mean. I'll just put them at the end, make it easier. So if you wanna wanna watch those, you just watch after this. Uh, we continued on got onto well, let me bust out the map here it's always better with the map we did get out of British Columbia and into Alberta there we go interactive map Kamloops it's a fairly good sized town we went up highway one here this was pretty nice, Revelstoke, lots of mountains, uh, lakes, rivers. All the way up here into Golden, we stopped and had some A&W. Then we cut up over here to Lake Louise and Banff. And now we are right about here. Kananaskis, I guess is how you pronounce it. Well, anyway, um, we were looking around for a spot, and uh, once again, we're not up in the great white north. It's a little bit more residential here. Every time we tried to find a place to uh, camp, we couldn't get one, and it was getting late. We went over time zone. We're, we're in mountain time now, so here we are camping at a Canadian, what they call provincial campground. So on the plus side, the showers. On the minus side, we paid 26 Canadian for it. And uh, well, we get a fire pit, no firewood, and a picnic table. And that's about it. So Nothing fancy, not too expensive, but uh, it's more than free. <laughs> On uh, bike issues, I did have a small bike issue today. Uh, once I left the campground, went up a little hill, and my oil light came on. I guess I was a little bit low on oil. There's the oil sight glass, and I may have possibly overfilled it now. But... It's not a big deal. It wasn't very low. I think just going up the hill, the sensor's probably at the front of the engine. Um, I might have just been just slightly low. Light came on, I stopped immediately. Added oil. We rode almost 500 miles today, so I'm not overly concerned with it. So we're going to continue on, and we will be back in the States tomorrow. So... Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll include a couple little bonus videos at the end here, uh, picking on my buddy Ken and, and then uh, showing uh, his new setup. So thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios. Good morning from camp. Uh, here's what a typical morning in camp looks like. We're just uh, starting to get things packed up. Just depends really if we're gonna take things quick or slow. Uh, Ken and I usually wake up pretty early. Uh, I got up about four this morning and had to pee, and I just didn't want to get out of the tent because it was cold and uh, laid there for a while. But finally, I got up about five, and Ken got up just a little bit after that. And we're here making some coffee. Mm, flame burning. Ken has this 
Nescafe, instant coffee. I had some of that and some of this Starbucks brand. I've seen people bring um, regular coffee pots out, whatever. I'm not overly picky on the coffee. It's just nice to have some in the morning. Um, but usually we take about, about an hour, I guess, in the morning to get things together and hit the road. Um, don't eat a lot usually in the morning, but uh, I do have some cliff bars and things like that. But getting the tent down, getting everything put back. There's my dry bag right here where almost all my camping stuff goes. Actually, yeah, everything that I, I have here goes in there. So, just got to get it all back in there the same way it came out. Which never seems to go in the same way twice, but I'm getting it, uh, getting it a little bit better every time, I think. Moving things around and finding the right location for it. Let's see how the coffee's going here. Alright, water's boiling. Coffee's on. Y'all have a good day. So we're uh, currently in Kamloops, British Columbia. And uh, I've been giving my buddy Ken here a lot of crap about his bike. Uh, mostly, not his bike, but his, uh, his pack. And uh, he's finally given up and he's going to try a, a different setup. So we stopped at the wonderful Walmart here in Kamloops. And I'm going to show you his bike packing here. I've been giving him just an inordinate amount of crap about this because when we started out, he had this bag here and this bag here. He had two bags. And then on the way up, we stopped in uh, Oregon. I can't remember where. And he said, ah, I'm going to get a different bag and I'm going to change my setup. So he bought another bag and I thought he was going to get rid of these two. But now he's got three. And he's got this stuff tied up onto here. It started out with some kind of thin parachute cord, and then we met this guy in Canada, and he gave him this um, tuna fishing uh, leader line, which is pretty strong. And he hasn't had anything fall off. And, and he's got a uh, hydration pack hanging off the side here. And then I gave him this uh, tank bag, and that's kind of hanging off. But... Uh, he hasn't had any of this stuff fall off, and it works, and he's gone everywhere I've gone. It takes him a little bit longer to get his setup all together, but I do give him a lot of crap about it, but it's just to show that, uh, you know, you don't have to have the latest and greatest stuff, and he's been everywhere I've been. It might not be the best way to go, but he's made it work. And then you look at my setup, I've got uh, bigger panniers here, bigger side boxes. I got the top case, which he said he hates top cases. And then I just have the one dry bag. Tank bag and a couple of bags on the side here. Um, I don't know if we laid our stuff out, if he has more or I have more or what. But uh, the only issue that he's actually had is this bag here slid down one time and it got into the line of the exhaust and it melted part of the bag yeah, actually right there you can see it melted part of the bag and uh, he ended up with a couple of pairs of socks and underwear that were in there that uh, ended up with some plastic coating on them so anyway he went in the Walmart and he's uh, buying a hockey bag and I teased him. I said, so are you going to come out and we're going to have four bags? <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully the hockey bag is large enough that he can get those other two bags into that. And uh, I'll still give him crap and he'll give me crap. And that's what we do. But uh, hey, you know, you use what you got. You make it work. He's put over 8,000 miles on this trip so far with that setup. So hey, it's tested and proven. Might not be the best, but it works. So I'll try to shoot a uh, picture of his setup after this. 
and let you all know how that works. All right, thanks for watching. All right, we rode a, quite a bit today here. Um, just got done with a 250 mile straight run up through the mountains, pretty nice. And um, now we're in a cool little town called Banff, B-A-N-F-F, -F, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're getting ready to find a place to stop for the night. <laughs> but uh, I thought I would show you Ken's new setup here. He's got his Canadian hockey bag. So he went from, well, he still has three bags, but he got rid of the, um, got rid of the uh, uh, backpack. Now he's got this hockey bag and then he stuck his other bag inside of there. So it's a little nicer setup, I think. Is it working better for you, Ken? Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm getting better gas mileage too. <laughs> <laughs> so. The hockey bag looks like it's working for him. Still a little unconventional setup, but like I like I said uh, when I shot the the uh, contraption he had going before, it doesn't matter what you got, he makes it work. Over 8,000 miles with this setup, and uh, he's gonna make it. So there you have it.